several years ago, uh, it was fascinating to see a couple of uh, former state lawmakers challenge the states in order to try to get back pay for pay raises that they voted against. Well, it's been years in the making, and we finally have some finality to talk about this case. And the uh, victor in it is Illinois Comptroller Susanna Mendoza. Comptroller, thanks for taking time. Uh, Give us the background, where we came from, and what happened this week uh, where you were uh, victorious in this case. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. And let me just be clear, Greg. The victor in this case was technically me because I'm the person who got sued. But it really is Illinois taxpayers because I was fighting this lawsuit on behalf of Illinois taxpayers. Um, to your point, it was five years ago that the lawsuit came against me uh, by these two former shameless uh, legislators. They were former senators, uh, Senator uh, James Claiborne and former Senator um, Michael Noland, who right now I think it's important to remind folks is a sitting judge in King County. And I hope for not too much longer because this action of trying to um, – to fleece taxpayers, and this could have cost us over ten million dollars if it would have, if they would have won, and it would have, I would have had to pay all legislators who um, voted year after year after year to not take their cost of living adjustment. If I would have had to pay them back this money um, that they willingly voted not to take, but then these two guys turned around and sued me because they wanted their money back, um, that would have been a very expensive proposition. So ultimately, this went through the courts. The Illinois Supreme Court uh, rejected their case. Does that mean it's done? This case is over? Yes, that is pretty categorical. I mean, we had lost uh, the first two attempts um, to defending this case, but I did not give up. And, And I think, honestly, there were a lot of people who thought that we were going to lose this case, that I shouldn't have kept fighting it. But I'm so glad I did. And the best part is that the Supreme Court ruled unanimously and they did not mince words in their um, in their you know their statement at the end, right? They they were pretty brutal in terms of how these individuals not only did they willingly acquiesce to not take the money, but they utilized their fake noble uh, gesture, right? Because they said that this was shared sacrifice, that it was the right thing to do, that we should not be taking raises when. You know, there, there was an economic collapse and people were hurting. You remember through the Great Recession. And they not only talked about this, you know, very eloquently on the Senate floor, but then they utilized it in press releases where these two specific senators were the ones who were leading the charge. And they also used it in other campaign literature, which the Supreme Court made note of and said that they, in, in fact, uh, benefited from, you know, cheating or essentially misleading, as they said, the taxpayers as to what their intentions were with these raises. So it was a pretty scathing, I think, um, you know, uh, indictment, really, if you want to think about it, of these actions. And the court ruled against these two senators uh, continuing to try to fleece taxpayers and ruled, most importantly, uh, in favor of Illinois taxpayers. So yesterday was a big win for the little guy. I'm so happy. Well, and I think, uh, again, you, you you rightfully point out that, yes, you were on the uh, uh, the, the opposite side of this, and you technically won, but it was the taxpayers uh, who won this. And I think a lot of people saw right through it, uh, seeing that uh, it's just another, another uh, politicians doing what politicians do, but uh, good to see that the judiciary uh, having some finality to this case and taxpayers not being on the hook for that. Speaking of taxpayers, comptroller, Susanna Mendoza with us. Taxpayers are starting to see those rebates go out. Um, mm-hmm. and where are we at in that process? And uh, when are we going to see all that wrap up? So we should be, um, we're going to continue to process these every day. I mean, we're working very diligently. The whole entire process, though, will take about six to eight weeks from its uh, start point, which was September 12th. Um, and we're processing them in the order that the state of Illinois received the tax returns. So there's no favoritism at play here. We're making sure that um, the ones that got to the Department of Revenue um, first, the people who filed first, will be the ones whose um, checks are processed in that order. And so if you were first, you'll be getting a, a you know a, a rebate sooner. If you are at the end of that, you'll be getting yours towards the end of the six to eight weeks. So just hold steady. As long as you filed your taxes last year, um, you don't need to do anything else. 
But if you did not file your taxes last year, you still have an opportunity to do it. You can file them online and you have until October 17th to qualify for this rebate if you have yet to file your taxes. Comptroller Susanna Mendoza, that's all the time we've got. We'll have to connect again soon to talk more about state business, but also about how you helped out a downstate community, Arcola, get a couple of uh, squad cars, but also uh, some some street lighting updates. Uh, So we'll have to hold that for the next time we chat. Greatly appreciate it. We'll talk again soon, all right? Thanks so much, Greg. Have a wonderful day. You too. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk. That was Comptroller Susanna Mendoza here with WMAY.